Hey, what's up? Alex from OceanLight here, and now I'll show you the top new features of the AViewer 1.4. In this version, we have added the most requested features as new video and images formats and codecs, as long as new scripting improvements, and a few more handy features that I will cover later on. The full list of supported video and images formats and codecs you can find on the Wikipedia page here. If any format from the following list is missing or unplayable or not seen by a viewer, please open support ticket on the A scripts and attach your file. At first launch of the A viewer, the system will ask you to add the video server to the firewall exclusion, and you need to do that only once. As you may guess from the name, video server is required to play the videos that were unsupported previously. If somehow you have denied uh, the access to the video server, open the firewall preferences and then allow incoming connections for video server. On Windows out, you will have the same prompt and you will need to give the access through firewall to the video server exam. In the new version, we have added a new format called EXPR uh, that is shortened from the expression. So basically, this is a text document with the expression inside. And all you need to do is just to save the txt file and then rename it the extension to expr. And you need to select any property under the timeline and with a double click, apply the expression to the selected properties. To add the preview to XPR file, simply copy and paste uh, the GIF animation under the same directory as your XPR file. Also, we have added support of 16 and 32 bits TIFFs and XPR files. And for those who has purchased BigPack on the Video Hive, BigPack folder will automatically appear under the Favorites tab. Also, we have added a new handy feature that will enable you to prepare the project before import of the file or do a few modifications of the file after the import. So all you need to do is to create two files called AVE before and AVE after with the JSX extension and put them under the same folder as your media files. So here I have two files and the first one will alert user before the import and the second one will fit the media file to the composition width and then apply levels to it. So let's add the file with a double click and as you can see we have an alert and then we have our image fitted to the composition width and level effect added. You can customize those files as you want. You can also apply presets uh, do any changes to the composition structure and so on and so on. Another handy feature is about the font manager integration. And right now, if you have a large variety of animated uh, typefaces installed into your system, all you can do is just open the font manager library folder and with a double click on the JSX typeface, it will be automatically loaded to the font manager. We have also fixed a lot of bugs and uh, improved the speed of the A viewer overall. So I hope you will like this update and please let us know if you will have any questions or feature requests in the comments or via A script support tickets. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next videos.